So I said, my name's Michael Faust. It's my great pleasure to have you on this Zoom today. I've been actually around the uh, Daisy Crowdfund community since really November 2020. So i uh, known one of the founders, uh, Ilya, for more than 14 years now. And I was in Dubai for the launch of this blockchain sports project. And we are part of the Limitless actually crowdfund community. We used to be the the uh, Daisy community, we've rebranded to Limitless, which I think is a great name. And one of the things we'll ask is, you know, how do I know this is not just another Me Too project and what's going to protect the project long term? Well, the one of the key members of the International Online Copyright Office was there at the event, and he actually presented the founders with two things. The first one is this notice of actual protection of copyright. What does that mean? It means it protects the intellectual property that underpins this project. It's, it's, we're developing a massive blockchain-based ecosystem with our own blockchain, our own applications, our own token, and everything else that goes along with that, as well as tangible assets like football clubs, uh, training academies, uh, medical sciences, and all sorts of things, uh, research and development into new technology and we have a copyright, an international copyright that protects us. So that's really important. That's the first thing that was given on stage. The second thing is the valuation. The valuation at the start of this project, you see the date there, February 15. So at February 15, 2024, before this project even went live, it was given an independent valuation of over $1 billion dollars. So you're not involved with some Me Too project that was created in somebody's backyard. The team, the technical team behind this consists of more than 300 actual blockchain developers and a staff of over 1,000 people. At start, at the start, it already has 18 months of development and over $30 million of investment already. So that makes it a substantial project. And that's really, really important. So that's validating the credibility. But what is this project really all about? Well, it's about addressing problems in this football industry. Things like inadequate infrastructure and funding, particularly in third world countries, and that leads to poor sports facilities and limited access to essential resources for athlete development. Think about where do some of the most talented players come from? Africa, Latin America, and yet you know, there's an actual lack of facilities. So imagine if those countries got actually proper facilities, the same that you see in Europe, I'm in the UK and other parts of the world, in the US and so forth. A shortage of qualified coaches and structured development programs that hinder the nurturing of young talent. So, you know, attracting high profile coaches, obviously high profile coaches and trainers and the rest of it want to be involved with top clubs in Europe. I'm in the UK, for example. And economic, as far as constraints, preventing players in less affluent nations from competing at higher levels. So, you know, just the cost of traveling internationally. If you're in Europe or the UK, it's very inexpensive to travel and generally a more affluent background. So, and also the uh, corruption and mismanagement of the bodies that govern the industry. You know, it's basically been controlled by an elite establishment for a long time. So we are actually democratizing the uh, governance of all these parts of the industry and bringing it back to everyday people where we can be part of what disrupts this entire industry and makes it an equal playing field. And of course, athletes in third world countries face limited international exposure, reducing their chances of being scouted. So we're going to ultimately have our own clubs, our own actual training academies, which includes football clubs and schooling and uh places they can actually uh, skill development. We're also going to provide the medical sciences and R&D, and we're going to then partake in the media rights and the revenue that comes from the player contracts and, and transfer fees and some other things. So you can feel really good that you are making a difference by being part of this project. So on the flip side, one of the things I shared, I'm at a leadership event in, in Dubai last week, was we get to 
enhance the quality of life of people involved in this football industry. But just as equally, we get a chance to help the quality of life of ourselves and the community that we're a part of, the people that we associate with. That's why I love this industry. And that's why I've been involved in it full time for the last 34 years, because we get the opportunity to have a positive impact with people and help them create their best life. So I want to talk about why the next four days is so important. Every day is important, but the next four days particularly is very important. We've just come off a period from the launch last week on the 21st until midnight UTC last night, where everybody got some special benefits if you were purchasing during that period. The mistake a lot of people will make is taking their foot off the pedal. A lot of people think, oh, okay, that was really hectic. I'll just take a, as far as the pause button now and press that and take my foot off the pedal. I would recommend that's the most foolish thing you could do. What I recommend you do is you get really active in this next four days. And I'm going to explain why that's so important. Firstly, the founders packs increase in price by 10%. That should be every month. Excuse that typo. So your strategy to midnight UTC on Thursday is to upgrade your founders pack to avoid paying 10% more. And you've got a time sensitive offer to go to everybody that you know and say to them, hey, I've got something you need to look at. And it is time sensitive. That's not hype. That's not pressure. But the cost of engagement is going to be 10% more after this Thursday. I just need 10 minutes of your time to talk about it and see if this is of interest to you. It may be for you, it may not be for you, but I'd hate for you to miss out and I'd hate for you to have to pay more if you chose to get involved. That's a real conversation you can have with people. So that's the first thing. None of us like to pay more. If you were actually buying a car and the salesman on the showroom floor says, you can take this car today or you can wait till Friday. The car's $100,000. You can pay $110,000 on Friday. You'd be an absolute mug to, to wait until Friday, wouldn't you? You'd go and buy the car before then. The same here. Do whatever it takes to get your founders pack up to the highest level you possibly can before Thursday. Because the money that you save can be put to better use. And, the, and by helping others do the same, you're also creating actually momentum in your organization. I love calls to action. Um, I'm a very, I've been self-employed now for over 39 years. I'm a highly motivated person, but I'm also a bit of a procrastinator. I used to actually cram for an exam at the end. I, I love the pressure. I'm, I'm, I'm in sport. I actually competed at a top level and I loved actually playing in finals and tournaments because the intense pressure of competition got me laser focused. And that's what you've got here. You've got all these series of impending deadlines that should give you laser focus. Don't get over analytical and paralyzed trying to understand every detail and think that you need to know everything because you don't. What you do need to do is ensure that you make intelligent actual commercial business decisions about this. So by getting involved and building your own actual personal community, and I assume that's why you're on this Zoom today, if you are just a passive person, this Zoom is probably not for you. But if you are actually building a community, you want to use your commissions to upgrade. The first thing we're going to be doing is taking all of our commissions and getting ourselves to the 100K level as quickly as possible. Because we look at every business from this point of view. What do I need to do to extract every bit of value from the product? That's the 100K. The 100K enables you to ultimately extract every dime of potential future revenue. Nobody starts a business to get 10% of the potential revenue. Nobody starts a business to get 30%. You always start a business to extract 100% of what's on the table. So when you look at this, 
look at it from that perspective and then say, what do I need to do to maximize my potential revenue on the referral side? And this is based on personal referral volume and your team volume. It's not based on number of recruits. You don't need to enroll personally a lot of people. And similarly, you don't need to involve a lot of people. In fact, it's far more efficient and effective to say personally refer maybe half a dozen people and focus on helping them do the same. But starting with two people who find two, who find two, who find two, that's something that everybody can duplicate. And then take your commissions and upgrade to maximize your revenue. That's the first thing, okay? Make sure you upgrade to the highest level and save the money. Because you can see here, you know, even a $2,000 pack, if you wait, is going to cost you $3,200 if you wait till August. $100,000 is going to cost you $160. So it makes every bit of sense to upgrade as fast as you possibly can. I want to talk about the breakage pools. The breakage pools pay out daily for 30 days once you qualify. These are a money-making machine. And I'm going to tell you why the next four days is really important as well. On your screen, you see two examples. These are two real live accounts. First one on the left, this person has came in with a $500 account. $500 account. And they referred two people who put in $25,000 each. So they had $50,000 in direct volume frontline to them and $50,200 in team volume. They got involved on Saturday evening, my time. So uh, just over 40, in fact, less than 48 hours ago, two people they brought in. And this breakage pool has already paid them over 14, nearly 15,000 US dollars. That's what happens when you get active. This other account basically has built up a greater team volume and has already paid out, was already qualified for about $25,500 of breakage pool payments in 48 hours. These are both 48 hour accounts, just two examples from our team. And not a lot of shares. They've just got the five maximum shares from the rising star pool. First one's only got one share of the champion pool. The other one's got five shares. So this is just two real world examples. The first one is really impressive because this person was never involved in the referral industry before. Had never been involved with cryptocurrency before. Never. Had no idea. But worked with me to get busy telling a few people over a 24-hour period and look what happened. He could say, he said to me, I'm actually walking up the stairs backwards on air. That's how excited I am about this. And wouldn't you be excited? You put, you you basically created $50,000 worth of revenue. You put in $500 of your own money and you've already created nearly 15,000 in referral. Now, am I saying that everyone's going to get these sort of rewards? No, I'm just giving you two real world examples. Um, tomorrow, they will do the, 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 the calculation for this four-day grace period, and then it'll be in real time. But I can tell you that the breakage will be higher from now on than it was the last four days, because the last four days, everybody was qualified for all 10 generations. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll show you in a minute. But my point of raising this is you want to go all out the next four days to also qualify for as many rising star and champion pool shares as you can. What do you need to do? Rising star is basically where doesn't matter what pack you're at, as long as you're at a minimum 500, for every 5,000 of personal referral volume, it's a typo there, it should be personal referral volume, every 5,000 you get one share, a maximum of five shares. So if you had 25,000 in personal referral volume, you've now got five shares. The champion's breakage pool is basically based on team volume with a 50% rule. So what does that mean? It means that no matter what pack you've got, if you created $25,000 worth of volume in your team and no more than half of that's from one referral leg, you get one share. As soon as you get to 100,000 in volume with no more than half of that from one team, you get an extra four shares. That's five shares altogether. When you get to 250,000, you get an extra 10. That means you've got 15 shares. 
And when you get to half a million, it's 20 extra. So you've got 35 in total. And these are cumulative. All these numbers are cumulative, not monthly, not what you do in a, in a week or in a day. They are cumulative numbers. And of course, the legends one. So basically, we've got all the unpaid commissions go into this breakage pool and they get divided into three pools. When you do a million dollars of volume, regardless of what your pack is, okay, it doesn't matter. You can be on the $500 only, but develop a million dollars worth of team volume and you get one share of that. Two million, two shares. Five million, you get three permanent shares, a total of five shares in total. Six shares, sorry. So how does the breakage work? Where does this money come from to pay out these breakage pools? Well, the Unilevel plan basically works like this. 40% of every sale of a founder's pack goes into this pay plan. And it's divided over 10 levels of referral. So you can see here, four times 10, 40%. Now, how do you qualify for the maximum 4%? You'll always get 4% on your direct referrals, regardless of what pack you have, as long as it's a $500 or more, you're always going to get 4% on your personal referrals. If you have a $500 pack, you'll get 2% on all these levels. But as soon as you qualify for either level four or you upgrade to 2000 pack, you're going to get up potentially 3000. Now you have to meet the qualifications to get paid on those levels. So you have to do the required volume, either personal referral or team volume. But once you get that qualification for each level, you're getting a higher payout. And ultimately when you've got an 8,000 pack or you qualify for level five, you've got 4%. What do I mean by this? It means if you've got an 8,000 pack, even if you are only qualified to level two, you would get 4% on direct referrals and 4% on the indirect referrals on level two. But if you had a $500 pack, you'd get 4% on your referrals, only 2% level two. So the higher pack means that you're getting a higher payout on the levels you are qualified for. But on the same token, if you can only afford 500, you're not disadvantaged. You can still end up picking up the maximum percentage on all levels simply by doing the required personal referral volume and team volume. I hope that makes sense. Breakage. How does it work? Imagine you in the green and you make a purchase. Your direct referrer gets paid 4%. The system looks up line and says, who's qualified next? Gives them 4%. And it looks up and it pays 10 levels of referral until the full 40% is paid out. Four times 10 levels, 40%. No brainer. But let's say that you were actually four levels of referral from the very top of the referral tree, from the founders. From the founders down, you were four levels. We're at, we're at level one to the founders. So in this situation, you and Green, you buy a pack. Your referrer gets 4%. It looks for who's qualified above them. They get 4%. Who's qualified above them? But you notice there, there's six levels that can't be paid because there is nobody higher up to pay it out to. That's called breakage. So on a $100,000 pack, that means $24,000 is unpaid, and that would be paid into the breakage pool. Okay? That's 24000 that can be shared amongst qualifiers. It's, and that would be shared 8000 to each of those pools. The 24000 will be divided into three different pools. Now, we also talk about compression. And this is why you want to get yourself qualified for the maximum number of levels. Why? This person in green places a purchase. Let's say it's a $100,000 pack. Their referrer gets $4,000. The system says, okay, is the person on the next level above them qualified to earn a level two? In this situation, no, they're unqualified. So it looks up, okay, who's the next person above them? Are they qualified for level two? Yep. Pay them 4%. So the system is looking up line to see who's qualified for level three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, which means that the person on the 10th level could be at level 15, 20, 30, 100, 200. 
And that means that in your organization, if I was qualified for 10 levels, the system is going to look and make sure it pays out all of that commission right down to the very bottom people. So I could I could potentially earn on maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 generations of referral. And this is happening in real time. So the sooner you rank up, the sooner you get qualified for more generations, the more you can take advantage of compression. So another strategy, as quickly as you possibly can, which has to be done in your first 30 days, is to get your money back. That's a no-brainer. The first thing my people usually ask is, how do I get my money back? How can I get my outlay back so I'm not playing with my own money now, I'm playing with my house money? Well, two referrals with a minimum of 500 each. Simply as this. If I had a $100,000 pack and I brought in two referrals with 500 each, I can get my 100000 back. How, how cool is that? I mean, that's an amazing incentive. And that was basically created out of revenue that's given back from blockchain sports to help us. So this is not coming out of your commissions. I mean, I've been involved in other programs where like with our first Daisy crowdfunding with the Intertech AI project, we used our commissions to get a second tier 10 account for my other partner, my other business partner. And then we took the next 100,000 and got a third account at tier 10 for our third business partner. So we put that out of our own money. In this situation, this is coming out of a sec separate incentive where all you got to do is find two people with at least a $500 outlay and you can now potentially get all of your pack paid. You may have started at 500 and over the next six months upgraded to 100K. Whatever you're at at the end when this pays out, that's what you get back. It's not what you've started with. It's what you finish with. So the, the sooner you upgrade, think about this, you should be walking over broken glass over nails to get to this point because whatever you get to, not only do you get all the income streams, all the potential digital rewards and the real life rewards from this ecosystem, but you only get your money back. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And I've been involved in this industry for 34 years full time. So what's in it for you? Just to remind ourselves what's in it for the person who just buys the founders pack. You get tokens from the node minting. This is basically where these nodes are putting into circulation the token that's going to be the token that, that is going to be used by our entire digital ecosystem. So when somebody's actually supporting one of the up-and-coming players is buying an NFT to take some ownership of, of a stadium or a club, any transaction that's happening in the ecosystem, they have to use our token as the, the gas token, as to, as to transact. And the only tokens that are going to be available for the first 18 months are the tokens that are minted by our nodes that come to you as the owner of the Founders Pack. So imagine that gold coins was the currency of the ecosystem. And the only gold coins being released were the ones released by our little minting machine, which is our nodes. Our nodes like a gold coin minting machine putting into circulation. And for the next 18 months, no more gold coins are available. The only gold coins are the ones that we as the community own. So you've got this massive demand for tokens, and we're the only ones that hold them. Is the penny dropped here? Are you starting to understand what you've got in your hands? Then there's all the other things that happen in the ecosystem. A decentralized exchange, uh, interaction between different blockchains. There's a whole lot of digital rewards. And you may not understand it, just like you might not understand how uh, Visa or how MasterCard or PayPal or how Amex or how Apple Pay or Google Pay works, but you know they make a bucket load of money and they do it out of transaction fees. You know, ecosystems like banks that have lots of transactions, that's how they make a lot of their money. And that, a lot of that revenue in our ecosystem is being shared back with us. Then we've got real world income from media rights, player contracts, 
players being signed up, medical science being sold, uh, assets being developed, football stadiums and training academies, and on and on it goes. There's so many revenue streams here. Real world. 50% of all these digital and real world rewards are being shared back to us. 40% to the founder pack owners and 10% gets put through the pay plan. And we've got the referral commissions. Don't dismiss that. I got people who say, oh, I'll never refer this. I can't do this. Well, I would say to you that if you are not in a financial position where you want to be, it's interesting. The same people who often say that are the same people that are always complaining about their financial situation. I don't have any time. I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have time to do anything I really enjoy doing. I don't have time for my wife. I don't have time for my kids. I got no money. I can't pay the bills, but I don't want to do anything about that. This is an opportunity where all you have to do is take advantage of the resources, the tools, and the systems that are available and this time sensitive offer. And don't try to convince people. Just sift and sort and find the people that actually are interested in doing something about their personal life situation. The US 100 USDT pack, what does it give you? Well, it gives you a digital NFT ownership of part of the first training academy. They're actually putting one in Brazil. It's already well under development. It's basically a school and a, 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 a training facility, a football field and all sorts of stuff. It's, it's already being built right now. So it's a bit like you know that you can buy um, a piece of a, of a piece of art and where it's actually broken up into tokens and you can buy a little part of it. Real estate, you can buy part of a, a, a high rise building. In fact, any asset can be tokenized, divided into a certain number of parts and, and, and actually I'm assigned an NFT to each part of that. It's, it's a digital asset that you can sell to other people later on. And you earn a 4% commission on any referrals when they make a purchase. So any purchase made by your personal referrals, you don't make income on your team, but you do make it on your personal referrals. Of course, I would encourage you to at least add the $500 or more founders pack because you get the digital rewards from the blockchain ecosystem. You get real world rewards from the blockchain sports ecosystem. That's all the media rights, player contracts, stadiums, football clubs, et cetera. You get a 4% commission on up to 10 levels of referral with compression. I've already explained that. You can get the rebate bonus and get your founder's pack cost rebated to you. And you can qualify for those breakage pools. And look at that one person who just shared with two people and has already got back. Or well, put in 500, got 15,000. That's, that's 30 times, if my maths is right. It's got about 30 times his money in the first 48 hours. Staggering. What I would say to you is this next four days, you have an opportunity to write a new story. When I got involved with Daisy at the very start, back in late November 2020, I put six weeks work, massive energy, into just reaching out to everybody that I knew. And that led to a $100,000 referral payday day one. And when Daisy paused for three months and we had the official launch, we made another hundred thousand dollar day the next time. We heard the story many times, but it's a it's a story I can tell for the rest of my life because it's a true story. It's a true story. How did it happen? I took massive action. I didn't look for excuses. I didn't rationalize or justify. I didn't spend all my time over analyzing everything. I just got busy and found the people that wanted to do something about their circumstances. This is your opportunity to write a story you can tell for the rest of your journey. Once you have a great story, it has eternal value. And help other people in your team do the same. The more stories you create in your team, the more leverage you have. If you can get five people in your team, for example, who created their own success story, they will never quit. They'll, they'll continue in spite of you. It wouldn't matter what you did, they would not give up because they don't need you anymore because they have their own why for doing this. But you have to help them create their own story. And that happens by taking massive action. Leverage the tools and the resources. Don't reinvent the wheel. You don't need to worry about creating PowerPoints and creating videos or these Zooms. Leaders like myself are doing these Zooms. There's already official corporate videos now 
as release start today, they'll be online in, in over eight languages. We've got the PowerPoint coming out in over eight languages. If you're in the official channels, you notice information coming out. I mean, that the launch of this was one of the best launches that I've seen. Very uh, um, smart, intelligent, uh, as far as incentives and promos. And this referral pay plan is one of the most intelligent pay plans and one of the most generous and one of the most lucrative that I've seen in this industry. But the bottom line is I saw people come out of the event with their eyes glazed over thinking that, oh my God, how am I going to learn all the stuff about blockchain and, and I don't know about football. That's not why you're involved, folks. Why you're involved is because you want to move from where you are in life to where you want to be in life. The reason you got involved in, in the actual community in the first place to now probably hasn't changed. So everything has changed, but nothing's changed. Your why for getting involved, the why for your team. Go back to your team and say, why did you get involved in the first place? What was your intention? What did you want to achieve? And reconnect them with that. And then tell them, is this going to work? Well, we've got a project backed at a government level that's already got international copyright protection, a valuation of over a billion dollars before it even took its first amount of money. We've got an actual development team, over 300 developers and over 1,000 personnel involved. We've got, we had over 50 iconic football stars on stage in Dubai who put their brand behind, players who played for World Cups for their country and for top leading soccer clubs. Do you think there's a future in this project? I don't know what more you need to hear to understand there is. You just need to make a decision. So on that note, I want to finish with some closing thoughts. This is already, we're into day one of these four days. So like I said, don't prejudge, but go for your lowest hanging fruit. What do I mean by that? Who do you have actual rapport and relationship with? Two people. Everybody on this Zoom today, give me a yes in the chat or give me, uh, I'm on the reaction tab, a thumbs up. If you know two people that trust you, two people that would at least trust you if you gave them a call and said, look, I've got something you want to look at. I just want you to spend 10 minutes having a look. Come on, we should have at least everybody saying, yes, they've got two people. So that's all you need. And then you help those two people do the same. I remember in a previous opportunity, in one day, I went from two to four to eight to 16 in one day. And all I said to people was, I've got something you need to know about. I need 10 minutes of your time. You won't regret it. Do you trust me enough to give me 10 minutes of your time? Yes or no? If they said no, next. I said, I'll come back to you next week. I don't have time today. I'm looking for the people who are ready. I got the first two involved and I taught them to have the same conversation with their two people. And they did the same with their two people and the same with their two people. And then what happened? That set the foundation. Imagine you could do that in the next 24 hours. Two people, help them find two. We're not asking them to, to sell their house. We're telling to look at, at a personal commitment of at least 600 US dollars. Everybody should be able to access 600 US dollars. If they can't, that's even more reason to do something. That's even more reason. If you can't come to $600, and that's no judgment. Please, I don't mean to judge anybody who hasn't got money because I've been flat busted broke at different times in my life as well. But that should be an alarm bell. That should be an alarm bell that's ringing very loud. How long do you want to be in a situation where when somebody comes with an opportunity like this and $600 is the difference between you and freedom? Now, I can tell you, in 2017, in my first crypto opportunity, my business partner and I, that's all we had. We had $600. We'd been hit hard with a series of losses, and we put $600 into opportunity and got busy and created over a million dollars worth of referral income in five months. Not to brag, because I didn't know anything about blockchain or crypto. I, I knew how to buy Bitcoin, transfer Bitcoin, sell Bitcoin. 
but I just got really, really busy. And it started with $600 and picking up the phone and getting busy contacting people. This is not the time for placing ads on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. This is not the time about trying to create some magic. I'm a sales funnel. Go to the people that you have relationship with first, people that have trust and report. And many of you already have an organization. Go and wake up the sleeping giants. Go and wake people up out of their slumber and say, I don't care whether you do anything, but you need to know what's going on. And if people say, how does it work? I say to them, at least watch this 10 minute. There's a, there's a, there's a 10 minute official corporate video. They watch that. If they can't spend 10 minutes next, don't try to explain it over the phone and don't try and drag people over the finish line. If somebody can't spend 10 minutes, either your relationship is not good enough for them to trust you to spend 10 minutes or they're not motivated. They're not motivated to do anything about their situation. See, I don't, I don't take responsibility for trying to convince anybody to be involved. I'm that's, I will, I couldn't be bothered. I couldn't be bothered trying to convince somebody. I never want to be responsible for somebody else's actual decision. I want to be responsible for facilitating their success. I can't make them successful. I tell people straight, I cannot make any of you successful. Because I don't know whether you're going to do anything. I don't know if you've got enough get up and go, whether you're prepared to take the action, whether you're teachable, whether you've got a bit of fire in your belly to change your situation. I don't know that. I know that if you take the advice I've been giving you and you take advantage of the resources and tools that are already available. I mean, this Zoom and the previous two Zooms, really, if you study this Zoom, watch the replay, watch the last two Zooms, you've got more than enough. You don't need anything more. You've already got a great 10 minute corporate video. You've got the PowerPoints. You don't need any more. And all you have to do is invite people. We're going to do some more Zooms this week. There's nothing stopping your success apart from you and this up here, whether you believe you can do it or not. I don't want to labor on. I try to keep these sessions around 40 minutes if I can. I hope you got value out of today. Give me a bit of love in the chat if you thought today was good. Did you get value out of today? Are you excited? Give me some, give me some love. I'll make sure I, I actually you are you are actually listening to what I was saying. Anyway, yeah. you can tell I'm <laughs> fantastic. You can tell that I, 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 I'm I'm pretty fired up about this, and uh, I'm 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 the sort of person I'm either 100 percent in or not in at all. So, thank you everybody. Have a fantastic day. Let's make the next four days count. Uh, keep an eye out on our Crowd Tycoons YouTube channel. That's Crowd Tycoons YouTube channel and our Crowd Tycoons Facebook um, group as well, where you can get all the information you need. Have a fantastic day, whether it's just starting for you or coming to a close. I look forward to sharing more with you very soon. Michael, thank Let's... you very much. You are just simply the best. I think you are the one of the best content creator. In thank, the you. thank you. One of the appreciate best. Links. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate taking time out of your day as well. So let's. Let's go out there and get, get busy. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate your time. Greetings from Holland. Thank you.